fabulous crafty friends it is jess here from the scrappy sisters and today i am sharing with you this super cute um money wallet or money card that i saw the fabulous rachel low has made now i haven't seen her make a tutorial or anything like that but i've just seen her share images of her beautiful card and i just loved it and had to give it a try for myself so i've mocked up a bit of a template which i will share an image of at the end of this video and i've just decided to jump on in and give this a go if i can so you can see there it's just this super cute folded up card um just using my scrapbooking supplies so no um sort of card making supplies necessary and I'm using a collection that is called Boy or oh, that that's my boy my boy that's my boy by Echo Park and it is a super cute collection and you can see there that I've got my little template that I'm writing my sizes out on so the first thing you're going to do is cut uh, your base cardstock in the main color that you like at eight and three quarter inch uh, no eight and three eighths eight and three eighths by eight and seven eighths so you can sort of actually see that on the screen there there's the two two measurements that are written in black text are so eight and three eight inches and eight and seven eight inches and trim that down now i do use a scoreboard for this because I just find that that's easier for when you're trying to fold everything. Um, but I never used to have a scoreboard, so I just used to use the lid of a biro down my um, trimmer, and that's how I did it. And I'm just folding this into thirds, so I scored at three inches and three inches. Then obviously the last one isn't a full three inches, it's two and seven eighths, but that's perfect to be the inside fold so it doesn't you know get scrunched up when you fold it over then I'm cutting out those two little triangle bits that little fold up pocket there is going to be what the money slips into and I just added created two little tabs on either side so that there was somewhere to glue it down once I have gone ahead and done all of that I'm then going to trim the diagonal pieces off the, the folding parts that just makes that nice pretty um, crossover on the front. Now I am using the um, tag function of my envelope punch board but you absolutely do not need to do that. You can just um, cut it on a diagonal. It's about half an inch from the top is what I have done. Um, I did, if you are using your We Are Memory Keepers punch board, um, I cut it at about can I see? Can I measure it up? Um, it's about two and five eight inches. So, no, I don't really know how to tell you what I cut it at there. Sorry. I just guessed a pretty amount and cut it. So now I have moved on to cutting the money wallet section, like the part of the card that's going to hold the money. And so I started off by cutting a rectangle that's two and five eight inches by six and five eight inches. Now I do need to prerequisite, and I probably should have said this earlier in the video. This is to hold an Australian twenty dollar note. If you have the old Australian money, um, your fifty dollar notes are bigger. So do measure your own money for this part to see what size you need this to be, because you want it to fit your note. That you're going to be including in your card so as i said a 50 dollars note would not fit then i just got a little teeny tiny circle and traced it to in the center to make that little pop out i kind of just guessed that i'm sorry i don't have a special tool i literally just traced half a circle in the middle and cut it off it's about half an inch sticking out by about half an inch and then i also guessed approximately the center down and again I just drew half a circle and then used a um, craft knife to cut it out now I am drawing straight onto my card but I'm drawing it on the back so those stripey lines at the back I'm going to be facing it the red way out and it is going to be matted on paper so you don't end up seeing any of my gray lead so no cleverness for that you could probably use your cutting machine if you have a silhouette cameo or something like that but I just 
kind of eyeballed it and guessed. So that's the side it's going to go there on the red side. And I am going to mat it on another piece of paper. So I just need another. I You basically use one full sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock to create this card. Um, I didn't need any additional cardstock, um, but I pretty much use everything of my 12 by 12. So then I'm going to cut another piece that is, see what I've got left over there? That is um, two and seven eighths by six and a quarter. And that's going to mat the section that holds my money. Now again, those measurements will vary depending on the size of your note. That is the size of the $20 Australian note. But again, if you're using the old school 50, the old 50s that Australia had, um, they're longer than the $20 notes. So you'd need a different size. So do just be wary of what amount of money you wanna put inside your card, because those measurements will change. Then I'm just cutting the last little bit, which is the belly band. Uh, it is two inches by seven inches. Now I did run out of my cardstock at this stage. You can see there, I don't have any long chunks left. So I actually just joined a piece together. You don't even notice when you look at my card, but I physically could not fit the belly band in the 12 by 12 cardstock without making a join. So I'm just cutting the two inches by seven inches. Um, so I'm really just cutting this into two inches. Then I'm gonna join those two bits of paper together and trim it down to be seven inches. I think I must have had a not a straight edge in the first place. So I was fiddling around to make sure it was properly straight. So I'm just gonna join those two together. And then that whole piece, I will cut down to be seven inches long. So I hope this is making sense to you. I do have a template at the end of this video in images. If you are interested in that, just shoot me an email and I will send it through to you. Um, otherwise you can just pause the video and take a snapshot of the template image. So now I've got all my bits and pieces ready to go. Everything's cut, everything's scored, everything's planned out, and I'm up to doing the pretty things. So I'm gonna pull out my sewing machine and I'm gonna sew all the way around the main sort of envelope part of the card. Um, and I'm also gonna do a little bit of stitching on the belly band. So you'll see here, I'm about to point out what I stitch. So down each side of the belly band and then all the way around on the envelope and I just pull the threads through apologies for that really loud helicopter um, it has been circling and circling and circling and I thought it would go away but no it is still here um, so yes I'm just pulling the threads through to the back and tying those off you won't even see those because they're gonna be in underneath where the fold where that little pocket folds up so you won't even know that they're there so once I have done those, I then go ahead and pop a little bit of double-sided tape on those little flaps that we made, just so that that pocket has something to connect to, adhere to, and it's not it's got room to put your money down inside. So do make sure you include those and you don't just put your double-sided tape straight onto the pocket, otherwise there's nowhere to slide this, this card part, this money-holding part, down inside. Now in Rachel's one, she included an eyelet and I thought, why not? I have got a hundred of these things that I never use. I'm gonna pull out my eyelet machine and, or, you know, slammer, whatever you call them, eyelet makers. I'm gonna give that a go too. So these are the Fiskars um, eyelet setters. They're like little spring things that you use. Um, as you can see, I've got hundreds of eyelets that I never use. So I'm gonna get in there and give it a go. So I just, use one end to sling the hole and you just pull it back and go bang, it's really loud. Um, and it's obviously blunt because it is not making a hole punch at all. And then once you do that, you then put your eyelid in and you do the same thing, bang, 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 until your eyelid sets in place as well. And I just thought, why not? That's kind of fun, I wanna do that. So there is my eyelet and I am going to uh, mat that onto my what was that that was my two and seven eighths by six and a quarter mat so it 
pop some double-sided tape on there. So as I mentioned earlier, this is one 12 by 12 piece of paper and you basically use every little skerrick of it so to get it done. So yeah, so you can feel quite accomplished knowing that you have not wasted any of your 12 by 12 paper. Um, then once I have done that, matted that on, it will just slide inside the pocket, inside the envelope. And then it is time to get started on embellishing. Now it is a card, so I wanna keep the embellishments relatively flat. Um, so I'm just gonna use stickers, mostly because I also only have stickers that go with this um, That's My Boy collection. It's just one of those collection packs from Echo Park that comes with the 12 by 12 papers and the sticker sheets. So I'm gonna build up the belly band and then I'm going to pop something on the front of this belly band just to, um, you know, set that off on the page. So I'm going to pull out my sticker sheet now. I'm conscious of the colours and what's going to stand out well. So I started with that orange and then realised it really gets lost on the red. And I don't love the way it gets so very lost on the red. So I do go ahead and swap that in just a minute um because yeah i just it's not it's not speaking to me being orange on red here i go now that helicopter is still here you can imagine how loud it must be at my house if it is this loud on your recording so i do apologize um this says all star boy all star so i think that's a cute little sentiment for a boy's um, gift tag and um, as you saw I put the arrow pointing to say you know this way or open up this and then in at the bottom of where the money will go it's just it's just a little banner that says one of a kind and then I'm going to pop some text almost like the sentiment that you might have inside your card uh, on the other wing of um, of the folding card and so I'm just sliding in my money in underneath that half circle that we made. I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't actually put double-sided tape along the top of where the money hooks on, just so that you can um, f bend that little inside circle up more easily. So I only adhered down the sides and along the bottom of that red eyelet page when I was matting it to the cardstock. Hope that makes sense. Um, then I little, my little sentiment that says boys rock and then I can pop on the belly band and we're ready to go. How cute are these? So thank you so much, Rachel, for sharing your amazing um, creation here. Um, I just think these are fabulous and I think they're a really great way of gifting money to someone. Uh, not just a boy, but in my case, I made a boy version. Those are all the sort of templates that I made up. So again, if you want those, shoot me an email or take a snapshot of this um, photograph. Um, yeah, so I hope you liked this process video. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to help you and I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching.